Hey guys, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, you are going to learn to solve the contains duplicates problem. This is an array problem. I have taken it from lead code, the link to which I am placing in the description box below. You can click on it and do the code submission over there. We are going to solve this problem using Java. So without further ado, let's look at the problem statement. You are given an array of integer nums. Your program should return true if it finds duplicates present in this array else it should return false if there are no duplicates present in this array nups this is the problem statement now let's move to write the java program i will explain each and every step of the program to you and i highly recommend that you code along with me because that will help you understand this program much better also if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed to joey's tech yet then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because that way you won't miss out on these tutorial videos i create which are very very high in value i am in my intellij ide now and in my project i'll first create a class so let's create one let me call that contains duplicates there you go class created now I'll begin with creating the main function first. For that, I'm going to simply write psvm and there you go, main function created by IntelliJ. Now let's first declare and initialize an array of integers. So it will be int square brackets. The name of the array will be nums equals to sign new int square brackets again. And uh, let's put in the elements. So let them be one, two, three, and one okay the algorithm is simple we are going to take help of a hash set what we are going to do then we will iterate over this array nums and start adding each element of this array to this hash set before adding any element we are going to check whether that element is already present in the hash set if it is then it's a duplicate we break out of the loop then and return true now we are going to create a function that's going to do the job for us. It will be a static function. Now this has to return either true or false. So the return type should be Boolean data type. So let's write Boolean over here. The name of the function, let's call it dupe or not. And its argument will be this array nums. For that, we are going to write int square brackets and let's name the argument as nums only. Okay, now we are going to declare and initialize a hash set of type integer. So it will be hash set. Type will be integer. Let's call it HS new hash set. Okay, we are now going to write a for loop that is going to iterate over this array nums. So it will be for int i equals to zero i less than our array is nums so it will be nums dot length i plus plus now within the body of this for loop we are going to write an if else and as the condition of if we will write hs and then we are going to use the contains function within its brackets we will write nums i okay over here we are checking whether any array element is present inside this hash set first. If it is, then we have to simply return true. Else, we are going to add that array element to the hash set. So it will be hs dot add nums, then square brackets i. All right. Now, suppose there are no duplicates present in this array nums, then we have to return false. So where we are going to write that line of code? After the for loop, after all the elements of this array nums have been checked. So over here, we are going to simply write return false. And that's it. The function is complete. Let's call this function dupe or not from the main function. We are going to call it simply from system.out.println so over here we are going to write system.out.println tube or not and what we will pass as its parameter the array nums okay there you go our program is complete let's run this program 
and check whether there are any duplicates present in this array. Yes, we can spot that one is the duplicate element that is present in this array. Let's see if this program returns true. There you go. The program has returned true. That means it has spotted that a duplicate element is present in this array. Now let's uh, replace this one with four. Now there are no duplicates present. Okay. Now let's run the program. This time it should return false. And there you go. The program has returned false. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning this problem from Joey Stick. I hope you coded this problem along with me. I look forward to helping you with programming and algorithms. And only for this video, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.